Hi everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. One day a professor walked into a classroom and asked his students to prepare for a surprise test. The students took their seats and you know, waited nervously at their desk for the exam to begin. So he handed over the question paper to all. The students were surprised to see that there weren't any questions on the paper at all. Just a single black dot on the center of the page. The professor seeing the confusion on everyone's face said I want you to write about what you see. The students were confused but they got started anyway. When everyone was finished the professor collected all the sheets and started reading each one out loud in front of the class. There's a black dot approximately 1 by 4 in diameter wrote one student. I see a little black spot placed in the center of the page wrote another person. On and on it went. One after the other each student did their best to describe the little black dot on the center of the page. And the professor read each of their responses loud. And without a single exception each student had written about the black dot. Some students defined it some students wrote about its position on the center of the paper but every student focused on writing about the dot after the professor was finished reading each student's paper out loud he paused and looked at the class confused and curious the classroom fell silent waiting for the professor to say something that might help them to make sense of this peculiar test he said i gave you this exam because i wanted to give you something to think about because it will teach you a lesson that will be tested throughout the rest of your lives none of you wrote about the white part of the paper instead everyone focused on the black dot and ignored all the space that surrounds it and the same thing is happening to our lives you know he continued you know, we place too much attention on the black dots of our lives whether it's finance relationship health the career challenges you know, these are black spots and then these are tiny in comparison to the blessings we have in our lives but these black dots are the ones which take away our peace and happiness now our brain setting is like a digital camera you know, there is a manual focus and an auto focus the default setting of our brain is auto focus it focus on what's strong you know due to evolutionary reason but we have to change that setting or condition ourselves to manual focus focus on the brightest spot wherever our focus flows energy flows there i'll give you one more example two of my friends went to a party same party let's call them a and b in that party you know a saw some people arguing and fighting in one corner he decided to focus on that you know he zoomed his lens you know, the brain lens of course and focused on that The second guy B went to the same party. He also saw the same, you know, fight happening there, but he decided to focus on people dancing and laughing at a different corner. So he focused on that, right? So the next day I asked both my friends, you know, how was the party? So Mr. A responded, that party was sad, man. I don't know why I went there. People were fighting and arguing, no blah blah blah. So I asked Mr B you know how was the party His response was well, that party was rocking man I had the best time of my life same part but different responses In the same with our life the environment situation can be same but when you change your focus you get different results like a camera you know when you click a photograph you look for nice backgrounds right nice expressions isn't it Now we can use the same principle and focus on brighter side of things. Now when life gets blurry, you know, change your point of focus. Adjust the lens of attitude. And you know our brain works, you know, just like the Google algorithm or the Facebook algorithm. So if you keep clicking on some negative news on Facebook, more of similar news will show up on your uh, feed. On the other hand, if you watch more of positive, funny stuff, that will show up on your feed if you're consuming a lot of negative media you'll see negativity all around you the opposite is also true 
Now your vibe attracts your tribe. Now we have this RAS in our brain, reticular activating system. So like the Google algorithm, it filters things and shows up things based on our focus and interest. And for some reason if you are in, in the middle of a dark spot right now, first look back and remind yourself that you have overcome adversity in the past and if you have done it before, you can do it again. Spend your time, focus and energy on the solution, not the problem. See, black spots are minimal in our life comparing to infinite number of bright spots you have got in your life. Next time you come across a black spot, you know, put things in perspective and see it. See it just like that. You know, don't exaggerate. Don't make it bigger. Take your eyes away from the black dot in your life and look around in you know, all the space that surrounds it. The bright spots. You know, these are blessings. The gifts we have in our life. And that should be our point of focus. Thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe.